Hi, everybody. It's Jen Henriksen with Cruise Planners and Jen's Travel Journeys. And I was doing some travel clubs recently, and we were chatting about booking trends. And, you know, a lot of times in the travel trade, we use these words like booking trends, and, and they don't really carry much meaning, meaning for my clients. So I wanted to shoot just a short video to explain to you why this matters. So booking trends is a kind of an industry term that we use for what's happening in the world of travel, meaning uh, collectively as a large body of clients and agents, what trends are we seeing when people book their travel? And why it affects you is because industry-wide, as everybody starts navigating to one area of booking travel, that's going to lighten up another area of travel. And usually that's where we're going to find the deals. So let me tell you what's happening with booking trends that we're seeing now in late 2023 and into 2024. It's something there, the term unprecedented comes up quite a bit, but it's something we haven't seen in like 20 years. Okay. So uh, really the picture, we got to go back. We got to look back to go forward. Picture COVID did a number on the travel industry, right? And that's not up for debate. That's for sure. Um, but with COVID ending and people returning to travel, there's been kind of a trend or a wave system going on. So the first wave of people traveling after COVID would be 2022. Um, we saw lots of numbers, traditionally a higher age demographic bucket list. What, what I tend to sell is bucket list itineraries, bucket list places that people want to go to that they're probably going to go once, maybe not return, chances are. But um, 2022 was that first wave of travelers coming out of COVID. They didn't care what the restrictions were. They didn't care how many times they had to test. They were more afraid that they weren't going to get a, be able to go. That's that higher age demographic. Um, they just wanted to get there. So 2022 saw people traveling that really had an urgency. They wanted to make sure that they could go regardless of what hurdles they had to jump through. If they had to wear masks, if they had to get a vaccine, if they had to get a booster, um, if they had to test before they went or whatever, no problem. Those were 2022 travelers. 2023 travelers were more of the second wave. Those were people that had reservations about COVID. They really weren't that comfortable traveling right first wave out of the gate, but they they didn't want to have to test before they went. They they wanted a couple of those more of those restrictions to fall off um, before they were super motivated to travel. So that was another pretty large wave of 2023 travelers that I'm, I'm ready to get back out there. And as 2023 began to loosen up, so did the, so did those booking trends. So we saw an increase even more. So 2024 is the largest wave of travelers coming coming back to traveling. So this is all, pretty much all age demographics. It's people that have been able to write their vacation schedules or set the money aside to travel or older age demographics, the people that are super, way more comfortable, shouldn't say super comfortable, but way more comfortable that the COVID years have stabilized behind us. The, there isn't going to be this, whoop, now you got to get vaccinated or wear a mask kind of thing. We're in a much more stable place going into 2024 with travel. So the numbers, the largest number of travelers are coming in that 2024. Um, so normal industry trends, wave season, the busiest time of year for booking travel is January through March the end of March. We call it wave season because it started with the cruise industry, but it's true with land travel as well, that people come into the holiday season and all the deals start showing up. Really, Black Friday is probably the largest deals we'll see. Um, so people are home more, they're in front of the TV more, they're, they're paying more attention to the advertisements that come out, either email or um, email or mail, postal mail, and they're starting to pay attention. When am I going to plan my vacations for next year? Where do I want to go kind of thing? And along about Thanksgiving time, we start to cue in a little bit more with those advertisements. After the holidays are behind us and January rolls around, that tends to trigger people. I need to book this travel. I need to get it, get it, um, get it booked. 
collectively. Okay. Even if that's not you, that is the collective number of people. So January through March is the biggest booking seasons that we see in the travel trade. We tend to work longer hours. We tend to work Saturday mornings, whatever it takes, because we're following our clients on that booking trend. So 2024 is seeing the largest number of travelers. 2023 saw us having to work longer hours and everything because it was more volume than 2022. But as more people book into the 2024 travel seasons, picture what's happening. More people are booking. The industry suppliers that do those tours and those uh, the airlines, things like that, they're still making their way back from COVID. So like the airlines, we're still seeing issues this year because they aren't recovered fully yet, right? They don't have the staff back yet. So they're, they tend to have a little bit more issues as more volume of people return. So in 2024, we're seeing things book up a little faster. So the availability is dropping off sooner rather than later. Most people book about six to eight months ahead of travel. That's short notice in our industry because six to eight months may be when the largest volume of people are booking, but 12 to 15 months still is where you're going to see the deals. 12 to 15 months ahead of travel. That's when airline schedules open. That's when the suppliers, the big heavy hitter suppliers are booking, are, are offering their incentives. So still the deals are found 12 to 15 months ahead of travel time. Same thing with individual custom travel, 12 to 15 months ahead of time is when we're um, contracting with clients to retain our services to plan their bucket list trips when they're doing them individually. Um, but that's that six month window is when most people tend to like, hey, I want to go to I want to go to France this summer, though that's going to be tough next year because France and, and Europe is booking up now for next summer on top of the Olympics are going to be there next year. So there there's many trends that are happening all at once, but with this volume of people with their eyes on 2024 and booking for 2024 right now, 12 to 15 months is where we are now coming off that. It's only going to increase as we get to that six month out window and there's not going to be a lot of availability. So first trend is if you're looking at 2024, you want to get on it right now. That's when you're the the biggest wave of people that six, eight month window isn't quite there yet. And we're going to have more availability for you and not so many deals because deals disappear as availability climbs or I mean, as uh, availability diminishes, as less things are available, less deals are available. So now is the time to get booking for 2024, uh, way more than I'm always telling you year to year, just because of the volume increasing. The other part of that is with most people with their eyes on 2024 right now and increasing those number of bookings, it's kind of leaving the fourth quarter of 2023 with crickets. Not many people are focusing on 2023 travel now because their eyes are on 2024. That is creating a little bit of urgency with these big suppliers to offer way better deals to start filling their fourth quarter 2023. So if you tend to be someone that's retired, you have much more time on your hands and short notice availability. You have some funds. It doesn't have to be a lot of funds. We're seeing some really great deals out there right now. Um, but you have the availability to travel on shorter notice. It isn't your preference, but you have it if the deals were there. This quarter, fourth quarter 2023 is for you because we are seeing crazy good deals in the travel trade industry as suppliers go, wow, we don't have a lot of people booking in October, November, December of 2023. We're gonna throw in free air. We're gonna throw in a free land package before a river cruise. We're gonna throw in a free land package and air. They're, they're, they're crazy deals that are coming out for, um, for 2023 fourth quarter. And you're going to see on my Facebook page, I post a lot about that because it's important to me that I say, Hey guys, the deals are right now, October, November, December, those suppliers want those trips full and they're motivated to the point of paying your airfare to get there. So if you have some money 
and you have some availability for late uh, late 2023 travel, take a look. Give me a call. Let's look at what are some places, especially bucket list, that you would like to go to. And let's look at that last minute Christmas markets river cruise. I'm having deals, still those private deals that I always can bring you that you can't find yourself online. I've got lots of those, but let us get that going for you. If, if travel is what you want to do and you love those deals, this is the fourth quarter 2023 is what you want. Um, and if you're looking at really a special trip and it's a lot more detailed for 2024, this is the year to get on that quickly as well. So decide what it is that you want and start moving in that direction. Remember that regardless of what the world is doing with booking trends, it's my job to be on that for you. So get, get aligned with us. Make sure that you're on our books for um, being a registered client. A lot of times we don't even return calls right away. When we're busy with our regular clients, we don't even return the calls from my YouTube followers and people that find me online and go, hey, can you check this cruise for me? We, we aren't able even to get back to you because we're busy with our registered clients. So the only difference is you got to register with us. So go to jenwithcruiseplanners.com. Just click in the upper right-hand corner on sign up and become a client with us. You don't even have to have anything booked, but you have to be on the books. You have to be on our registered client list in order to get time with us. And we're happy to check those one-off cruises and things like that. Every single registered client, no matter what you're booking with us, will always have access to our private discounted rates. And again, you can't find them online yourself. So it's worth checking with us before you book anything direct. Okay. So thanks for watching. If you like the, some of the videos that you're seeing, please like the video below, please subscribe below. So you'll get a notice of when new videos come out and we really appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for registering and thanks for traveling. Bye, guys. Have a good day.